also we need to do the tuning forks and it's the same it's sort of like an over energy in the heart under energy in the liver Flower essence is prickly pear cactus. That's quite a few times. Mm, yeah, it's that bitterness again or feeling forlorn. Yeah. You know, so that sadness, broken heartedness. But your nana never got bitter no. by the sound of it. No. I mean, I suppose in those days you just get on with it. Yeah. I remember saying to Mum, I love it when Nana comes down, you don't rest on me. <laughs> that was the worst thing I could have said. Did you start rousing all the yes. time? <laughs> I was always safe when Nana was there. Isn't it funny? Different people control yeah. their behaviours. <laughs> Yes, a heart about self worth, self esteem, self love. Mm -hmm. Liver about internalized anger. You know, you get frustrated at yourself and you don't stick what, stick yes. to what you know is right for you. Which makes me wonder what your grandma like if you are with your nana. Like yeah. what? Looking back, is there anything she should have been doing for herself that she wasn't? Did she always put herself last, for example? Most probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because your mum yeah. did as well, yeah. didn't she? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I take responsibility for my attitudes and now choose to kindly, gently, lovingly and supportively dissolve my not sticking to what I know is right for me into all encompassing love. I make the commitment to kindly, gently, lovingly and supportively listen to my inner voice about what's right for me accept that which I can't change and act to change those things which I can. Hmm. I take responsibility for my attitudes and now choose to kindly, gently, lovingly and supportively dissolve my not sticking to what I know is right for me into all encompassing love. I make the commitment to kindly, gently, lovingly and supportively listen to my inner voice about what's right for me, accept that which I can't change and act to change those things which I can. Hmm. I was listening again to something about the actual heart yesterday rather yeah. than the heart chakra, and they were talking about the amount of electromagnetic energy in our hearts. Okay. Which is why you know, different, um, you know, things like EMFs and stuff yeah. can really affect people's hearts sometimes. Okay, let's go back and have a look. Now, once again, information to positive or negative anything around intermittent fasting. Is that too much IF? Hold back. Not enough IF. Hold back. Yeah, right. So your body love your thyroid loves intermittent fasting. Okay. Loves it. Well she'd just jump out there and say, just do it. <laughs> I tried a few times to do it and I just wasn't doing it. And then, um, then I did a 24, now 36, and now this big one. Yeah. And this one here. <laughs> Getting both off. At the very least, you can fill up with water afterwards. Mm. <laughs> is pe 
peppermint any more benefits than green tea? Oh, they're different. So peppermint's cooling, it's good for the circulation, it's good for the gut. Okay. Uh, it's not so much about the liver, whereas green tea is more about the liver, liver detoxing okay. and fat burning. Okay. And was it green tea? Yeah, so um, this particular doctor, for the people he's seen with either um, the long COVID or the uh, vaccine damage, he's using lots of zinc and green tea oh, okay. to help them out. And another study came out, and this was uh, Mike Adams uh, from America. I think he's a naturopath or a doctor or something. But he, um, he was saying a study's just been, which I haven't seen, yeah. but he was saying a study's just been released that dandelion leaves are really good for stopping the spike pr proteins from getting in through the ACE receptors, which is what's causing the enlarged hearts and um, okay. vascular damage and stuff. So, yeah, dandelion leaves is also very I'll beneficial. I've got some of that at home because mm. I had it when, when we were after Troy. Mm, nice. I said, Troy this way. <laughs> yeah, cool. Oh, something else, Mum. Yeah. <laughs> well, I need to try it every time. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's the thing these days there's so many so much impact from so many things from so many directions how do we know what's changing our epigenetics mm. to allow mm. cancer to thrive you know yeah how much manipulation of our food and our water and our air <laughs> yeah. our soils yeah i was chatting to a fourth generation farmer last week and she's a dynamo because she's just always grown up on farms and yeah. she's traveled around the world doing lots of farming mm -hmm. And once again, with the carbon going up, you know, so the whole global warming thing, mm -hmm. one of the biggest reasons for it is a lack of microbes in the soil. So oh, because yeah. farmers are going from farm to farm to farm to farm and they're not nourishing the soil, what a surprise, yeah. that's actually part of what's linking to the high carbon levels. Oh, okay. So they've actually proven that by increasing the microbiome or the, the bacteria in the soil, yeah. Sops up carbon. Ah. Now we just have to get governments on board so mm. that it becomes financially viable. Yeah. You know, because poor old farmers, you know, they're, well, certainly ours here in Australia, they're not living yeah. lives of luxury a lot of the time. That's right. Check conversion of T4 to T3. Hold back. That's better. Hold back. Mm. Okay, and in relation to reverse T3, hold back. Hold back. Okay. So now let's go back. So when was your high? Was your highest like three, four, five weeks ago? No, the fifth. So. Back. 11 days ago. 11 days ago. Yeah. Okay, so let's ask in relation to 11 days ago. No, nine. Nine, nine days nine, ago. Nine okay, days let's ago. go back nine days ago mm -hmm. in relation to T4 to T3. Hold. Yeah. So hold back. So the inflammation was so high you weren't converting your inactive thyroxine to your active thyroxine in your body. Oh, okay. So that then slows everything down. So when your thyroid is sluggish, you not only put on weight faster, but you feel tired, yeah. you feel unmotivated. Yeah. Uh, you become more toxic more quickly because all your detox organs, your digestion, your bowels, nothing works properly. Mm -hmm. So you build up your toxins more quickly. Okay, so nine days ago, T4 to T3. And hold. Hold. Nine days ago, any and all reverse T3. Hold. That's not everyone. Oh, good. Nine days ago, any thyroid antibodies? Hold. Ah, but a bit of something, something. Mm. Hold. Okay, so something was attacking your thyroid immune system wise, you know, with oh, that okay. excess inflammation. Interesting. Yeah. And it might be one of the reasons why wheat's so bad for you. Yeah.
because um, part of what slows down the thyroid is, um, well, two of the biggest things are genetically modified wheat and um, homogenized pasteurized dairy. Okay. So there are proteins in both of them that have an affinity for the thyroid, so really okay. slow it down. So when we do get into that, you know, and there's a lot of those in most of our junk foods. <laughs> As we know. Yes, yeah, I, had, I had a thing for bread before I went on the HCG. Mm-hmm. I just, yeah, there was, wasn't a day go by that oh. I didn't think about it. And I wouldn't go and buy a loaf of bread because yeah. I knew that it would go. Yeah. So I might go and buy two rolls or something. Yeah, right. I heard it could be for like two months. Mm, she said Christmas. Wow, well, I suppose if they're doing another Victoria. Mm. And now that Gladys has, you know, gone crazy. Mm. Two years ago, we had two deaths per, per day from the flu. And you know our one guy who's died this year in Australia from coronavirus, is he the one who was in India so he wasn't even here? Was it an Aussie guy in India? Mm, yeah, it could have been, yeah. It was something that it, he couldn't get, with, Yeah, he yeah. couldn't get brought home. That's right. Mm. Anyway, so shenan how, how shenanigans. Is that, so how is it? And how is that with death in Australia? Mm -hmm. And normally, um, by this time in the year, we would have had, I think it was Alan Jones who said, um, we had two, one year, a couple of years ago, we had 250 deaths mm. by this time mm. of the flu. You know, but how to mm. push a fear campaign, pain, mm. just keep it going. Oh well, they're not going to let go of their control now. No. Crazy. Crazy. Okay. So any organs needing support with HCG. and trust issues. Is that trusting that I won't do it? Yeah. Because you trust the process, you know it works. Yeah, it works, it works, yeah. Yeah, fear, threat, danger, blowing your best But I think I was expecting more. Yeah, right. More weight loss. Yeah. Been so good. Oh well. Maybe it was that oil. But don't forget your body can be gaining muscle mass, you mm. know, if you, if it's not losing it fast. Yeah. little rest circuit for the day oh, okay. okay so so yeah right so the other thing that the HCG is doing is releasing noradrenaline okay. from the tummy fat yeah, the tummy fat is yeah and noradrenaline is that long-term stress hormone so the assumption of long-term stress okay and your brain would rather run away mm -hmm. yeah and that's where addictions come in. Mm. Mm. Wow, she thinks till Christmas. Because mm. she's telling me to cancel my flight. 
in September. And I won't because if I wait closer to the time, I should get my money back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because it's, I'm not going because of COVID. Yeah. I can't get there. Probably rescheduled Armadale for mid August. Oh, okay. Well, that's not a long way. Well, it hasn't been in the country, New South Wales. No. No. So even though they're in, you know, stupid land, yeah. they actually haven't had any cases. Like yeah. they've had no cases in the Blue Mountains or down in Wollongong. You know, it's just nuts. Okay, I thought there was one in the Blue Mountains. I could be wrong. Or maybe I heard that it was one of the places isolated. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, shenanigans, shenanigans, mm. shenanigans. <laughs> and how beautiful oh, is that? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, so really, no, the HCG is, is kicking along nicely. Okay. So even though you feel like it's not bad, the stress from nine days ago was very much linked in with your heart chakra, self-worth, self-esteem, yeah. self-love, sadness, the mm -hmm. sadness and the brokenheartedness. Mm -hmm. So through those genes and your thyroid, like, and your liver. So it was all about your heart, your thyroid, your liver. Mm -hmm. oh, mm. Thank you. And your thyroid loves the intermittent fasting, okay. which is great. Okay, another 48 hours. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you can, otherwise just do a 500. You know, whatever you feel, you know, you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Okay. Yay. Thank you. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> See you, everyone. <laughs>